welcome to the 10th annual JA Africa Company of the Year competition. Thank you so much for tuning in. A very special thank you to our event funders, board members of JA Worldwide and in Africa, to our CEO of JA Worldwide, executive directors, program managers, teachers, chaperones, staff, and friends of JA. The COI competition is the culminating event for students who have completed the flagship JA company program. It's an entrepreneurship program that gives high school students globally the opportunity to start and run their own businesses during the course of an academic year. The students who are representing their countries today have gone through qualification rounds and emerged as national winners from their countries, and now they get to compete at the regional level. The 2020 competition was set to be held in Eswatini, but because of the COVID-19 pandemic, it couldn't come off as planned. But we're excited that we've been able to pivot to a virtual competition. We have an exciting schedule of activities ahead, so make sure to stick around today, tomorrow, and on Saturday. We would like to call upon the CEO of JA Africa, Simi Inwogugu, to give us the opening remarks. Hello and welcome everyone to the 10th annual and first virtual Africa Company of the Year competition. March is usually an eventful month for us as we celebrate Women's Day on March 8th and then Global Money Week. But this year is extra special because we get to celebrate our first virtual Company of the Year competition this month. Um, we're supposed to be in the Kingdom of Eswatini with our students having fun, getting to know Eswatini, but because of the COVID-19 pandemic, um, we've had to do a virtual edition this year. Um, and the pandemic has also meant we've had to shift to March because our resilient students needed time to finish their company programs and national competition. And oh, what resilience they've shown. They've you know battled every single obstacle from school shutdowns to, you know, elections that have been disruptive to pandemics and citizen riots and all other battles um, that they face to get here today. So please let's just give a collective applause to our 11 student, uh, student teams who to me are winners already. Regardless of whoever takes home the trophy, all teams uh, from our 11 countries that have made it this far are winners in my eyes. We wouldn't be here without our sponsors who have stuck with us despite economic downturns and pandemic pressures. So let's just give them a collective applause as well. I would particularly like to recognize FedEx and City Foundation who have sponsored the Africa Company of the Year competition since inception for the past 10 years. We're really grateful for their support and proud to share with you some videos of the past 10 years stories of success from past participants and i would like to recognize new sponsors this year mastercard and pmi educational foundation who has sponsored enhancements to the company program and they're here to recognize the student teams who demonstrate the most adoption or the best adoption um, of these skills into the company program so mastercard is sponsoring digital innovation and the uh, PMI Educational Foundation is sponsoring the adoption of project management skills because they are the Project Management Institute. Um, we're also grateful to Law Trust and the Tomorrow Foundation who are returning as sponsors of the CEO Award and the Future Tech Award respectively. Thank you very much for inspiring our students to prepare for leadership in the 21st century. As you know, this year's theme is Lead to Succeed and this year has, I mean, our students have shown incredible leadership, uh, personal leadership even in the middle of crisis. We have an exciting lineup of speakers for you also, um, including His Excellency, the Acting Prime Minister of Kingdom of Eswatini, Mr. Temba Masuku, a special guest speaker. You, as you well know, we celebrated Women's Month this year. And so, of course, we had to have a female uh, billionaire CEO of, of Zooks, Ms. Aisha Evans. 
and we're hoping that she will inspire our students with how to build their businesses into billion dollar businesses and and then sell them to uh, the highest bidder <laughs> so thank you very much miss aisha evans we're happy to have you here uh this weekend and we also have my bosses the ceo of j worldwide ashish advani and the uh, uh, board chair of JA Africa, uh, Mr. Charles Moyela, who will also share some inspiring words with us today. And finally, my co-host and our hosts uh, for this virtual competition, the board chair of JA Eswatini, um, Mrs. Nokukanya Gamedze, and the executive director of JA Eswatini, Fetsile Masilela. Thank you so much for the work you've put in, in um, running this competition with us and we look forward to hearing from you um, during this competition finally um, we have our judges this has been a month-long competition um, culminating in this weekend's event and our judges have been working for the past one month reviewing annual reports reviewing financial statements interviewing students and preparing for this weekend's activities so i'd like to thank all our judges the beauty of having a virtual event is that we can have judges from all over not just from africa but from um, outside africa and from even countries across africa not just the country that we're being hosted in so thank you very much to our judges and to our head judge Camille Francis, who's been a three-time head judge and dedicated uh, volunteer of JA in the US, uh, Ms. Camille Francis. Thank you for your dedication to JA. And finally, I'd like to thank our executive directors and all of the staff of the 11 countries that have made it to this final stage. As you know, we are 14 countries in our member network and these our student teams from 11 countries have really managed to stay till the end um, and, and, and present teams for competition this year. So I want, please join me in applauding the teams from Cote d'Ivoire, Eswatini, Mauritius, Nigeria, Gabon, Ghana, South Africa, Uganda, Kenya, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. Thank you very much for working hard to get your students to this level. And again, to the students who are all here and the schools that are represented, thank you to the teachers, thank you to the volunteers, thank you to everyone that made them all able to be here today. Um, finally, thanks to you, our audience. Um, it's a virtual event, so another beauty of virtual event means you get to vote. And so this year, for the first time ever, we have the Public Choice Award, and you get to pick the team that you think um, is the Africa Company of the Year, uh, so it deserves to go home with that trophy. So you can vote on the link below, um, and also there's a link in the chat, and of course, feel free to also tell us what you think of the competition and of the various students in the competition. I am sure when you were a secondary school student, you were not this innovative or this entrepreneurial. So really give a hand to our students and enjoy this weekend. Thank you. A very big thank you to Simi for that. And now we're going to go on a virtual tour of the absolutely beautiful nation of Eswatini.
was our virtual tour of Eswatini. Gosh, it's an absolutely beautiful place, isn't it? Now we're going to hear some remarks from His Excellency, the Acting Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Eswatini, Demba Masuku. Junior Achievement Leadership, uh, Board of Directors, Sponsors and uh, Students, uh, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, a good day to you. Uh, we are extremely excited um, to be hosting this year's Junior Achievement um, Continental Competition um, in Africa. Um, my task is a relatively straightforward task. It is to introduce um, His Excellency, the Acting um, Prime Minister of the Kingdom uh, of Eswatini, uh, Temba Tlanganiso Masubu, uh, who is going to be addressing uh, this gathering um, and encouraging uh, all uh, participants um, in this competition uh, to excel, uh, not just for this competition, but into the future. Um, he is a very distinguished uh, political leader in the kingdom, um, having served in many uh, portfolios in the past. Uh, he has been the Minister of Finance in Eswatini, has been the Minister of uh, Economic Planning in Eswatini, has been the Minister of Agriculture uh, in Eswatini and has also led one of uh, the regions as Regional Administrator. Uh, in all of these roles, uh, he has shown an exceptional passion um, uh, of promoting and uh, advocating for uh, entrepreneurial leadership, particularly with the youth and women. He has a very, very strong passion uh, for um, those two um, aspects of uh, growth, um, women and uh, youth empowerment. And I'm sure as he articulates his vision, um, not just for Africa, I mean for Eswatini, but for Africa as a whole, uh, those themes will come through. With those few remarks, uh, please allow me to uh, introduce uh, His Excellency, the Acting Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Eswatini, uh, Temba Tlaganiso Masubu. Thank you. Greetings to JA leaders, board members, sponsors, JA students, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Today I welcome you all to this virtual competition. The government of the Kingdom of Eswatini would like to share its gratitude for being a host for the JA Africa competition of the year. I'd like to welcome all of the African countries that are part of this competition to the Kingdom of Eswatini. We appreciate all the sponsors and partners that are supporting youth economic empowerment. A special appreciation to Standard Bank Eswatini for supporting this event. We're here today to celebrate uh, the milestones that have been achieved on youth entrepreneurship as a continent through JA programs. JA Africa believes in empowering Africa's youth with knowledge and skill to start their businesses to develop innovative ideas for the job market and make sound financial decisions. We commend the 12 countries that have been participating in the school's competition ever since the inception of this program. Moreover, we congratulate Botswana, who won the competition last year, followed by Swatini and Nigeria. We are extremely proud of the varied demonstrations of capabilities from our youth, uh, young people throughout the continent, and we would like to encourage more countries to participate. The countries of our continent are facing huge challenges of economic meltdown, just like other countries globally. It is our mandate to ensure that youth participation in economic recovery of the continent and individual countries is prioritized. JA Swatin and in the African continent at large has been seen playing a huge role in financial li uh, literacy, entrepreneurship and work readiness empowerment amongst the youth. This kind of education is the one that will enforce 
a sustained economic recovery for the country and the continent at large. The theme for this year for the JA company uh, program is lead to succeed. From this theme, we encourage the youth from every country represented here today to take an initiative to improve their lives and not depend on employment, but to develop business concepts and become entrepreneurs in their communities. There is no better time than now to train young people, especially the adolescents, on leadership skills and success. The instilling of this knowledge at a younger age will ensure that we have leaders in future who will lead with power, inspiration and integrity. COVID-19 has taken students away from schools for almost the whole year in the different countries. However, we have seen JA being resilient and still continuing with the empowerment programs through virtual platforms. This is applauded because it shows that organization, the organization has great leadership that is agile and persistent in all the African countries. I'd like to congratulate all the schools that are here to participate in the competition of the year for their perseverance and commitment. Well done to all the students and teachers. To our local government, I appreciate the Ministry of Commerce, Industry and Trade and the Ministry of Education and Training for supporting the local program of JA Eswatin. May I congratulate all the schools that will make uh, presentations here. Just know that you are all winners. To the champions, congratulations. Go out there and represent your country and your continent with pride and confidence. As government, we pledge our continued support to the local programs of JA Eswatini. Youth entrepreneurship still remains our priority. Even in 2021, during the COVID-19 pandemic, the Minister of Commerce will continue to give JA Eswatini a subvention so they continue with their work. We have a long partnership with JA Eswatini that dates back to 2014 and government has invested at least 3.5 million Malangen into this program to date. On a final note, the future needs more entrepreneurs to improve and sustain the economic climate of the African continent. Together, we can achieve more and we beckon the youth to play an integral part. With these remarks, I pronounce this competition officially open. I thank you all. And thank you very much to the acting prime minister of Eswatini for that. Now, if you've been listening and you found something exciting or something that has caught your attention, please share your takeaways with us using the hashtag AfricaCOY20. That's AfricaCOY in capital letters 20. We would love to hear from you. But as I mentioned earlier, JA Africa is celebrating 10 years of the COY competition. And for that, we have a very special video compilation to share with you. The Company of the Year competition is Junior Achievement Africa's annual celebration of youth entrepreneurship. And this year marks the 10th anniversary. We bring together students from different countries where Junior Achievement works in Sub-Saharan Africa. Most of these students have traveled for the first time out of their countries, and this has given them a new experience away from home. Hi everyone, I'm Sbash Shekwaba from Swaziland, and uh, my experience in Ghana it has been very nice. Although it's hot, but it's very nice. We are so grateful to our sponsors, the chaperones, and to all the volunteers for making this happen. In the last decade, we have seen a team of students from across Africa 
showcase great motives about the company they started, from the product they have developed to the business plans and defending their decision in front of a panel of judges. We use also our, our artwork to make jewelry and bracelets and bags. We also use car tires to make all these products. Dairy World is a company based in Uganda and it deals in notebooks. It makes you the portable notebook that you'd like to carry, affordable and durable notebook. They have demonstrated the business skills they have learned. Finance, marketing, leadership, planning and communication. All to become successful in the competition. I'm always impressed when I come to these competitions to hear the great ideas and the great plans and the great work that the students have put into uh, establishing their companies. I was blown away with the quality of businesses and ideas that um, were exhibited and the strength of the presentations. I mean, for those of us who are in, you know, business world, it doesn't get any better. A real testimony that Africa, we have talent. When I look at the performance from these young people, what they have done, I, I feel elated that with the guardians and support, we can transform Africa. When they were presenting to the judges and when they had to really sell their product, it was fantastic. Whether win or lose, the program has rewarded the students with more than they expected. JA has given me control over my future so much that as I'm standing here right now, I can literally picture what I would be in the future and the steps I would take to reach there. We are being taught about entrepreneurship, right? We are living in an Africa whereby there is a high rate of unemployment. And by participating in JA, we are being taught to create jobs, jobs for each and every individual. We are not being taught to be employed but to employ other people, starting up our own businesses. That is a wonderful thing. Also had the opportunity to learn from other teams and learn from positives displayed by them and try to implement these positives in our own endeavors. This is the perfect platform to teach yourself how to be a young entrepreneur so that in the future, you will be actually creating employment and actually solving a big problem in the world. I'm a J alumni, class of 2014. I was the CEO and founder of Shasha Network, which is the company that I'm still working on now. My experience with JA Company program has been fulfilling. I've been able to grow and develop as an entrepreneur. But most importantly, I've walked out of that program with the clarity in terms of my purpose and what value I want to be able to produce through my business endeavors as an entrepreneur. If I am to describe my company by experience, I would say it was very transformative in nature. And I would also say that uh, it's something that did not leave me the same. Uh, my life really changed after participating in the JA Company program. I was able to go to school to a, in a different country. I, I gained a better outlook on things and, and that's all because of the, of the company program. In 2015, I had this amazing opportunity to represent Mauritius in Gabon, Africa for the mini company program. The people there were very welcoming and I have witnessed the level of competition there which confirms everything they say about the youth of Africa. They are leaders, they are change makers and they are achievers. I am so excited about JA Africa's 10th anniversary for the Company of the Year program. I remember the time that I was part of the company's program myself. It taught me how the process of building a company was more important than the destination because it builds one's character. I also got the privilege of becoming financially work at a very young age and that is something that I still use up to today. So thank you so much JA Africa for such an opportunity. The Company of the Year competition will continue to elevate and edify students for years to come. Now this is the really exciting part. We get to meet our young competitors. From Cote d'Ivoire, GJI Technologies. From Eswatini, Nagrotech Pty.
from Gabon, Imperial. From Ghana, self-made. From Kenya, Mkulima Digi. From Mauritius, EG Company. From Nigeria, New Face. From South Africa, MP for You Music Plot. From Uganda, Make Investments. From Zambia, Hambana. From Zimbabwe, P2M Holdings Company. So we would absolutely love to hear from you. You can cheer on your teams in the live chat and comment section. Send your comments, send your messages, and we would love, love that you get interactive with us. We have the board chair of J.A. Eswatini, Mrs. Nokukanya Gameje, to give us her remarks. Program director, J.A. leadership, board members, sponsors, J.A. students, Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, may I congratulate JA Africa for bringing us together in this forum to complete the 2020 JA Company Program. There has been challenges globally, but as a continent, we have persevered through. May I also congratulate the newly appointed JA Africa CEO, Ms. Simi Mungungu. We are once again excited to be led by a lady. Junior Achievement Eswatini exists to empower young people with entrepreneurship skills, financial literacy, and job readiness. This year has been has not been an easy one. However, we are excited that we have been able to meet most of our goals. During the lockdown, the organization came up with virtual platforms to continue with the trainings for the youth, both in school and out of school. This has resulted in reaching at least 850 students on entrepreneurship skills, 310 on financial literacy, and 430 out of school youth. For the first time as a country, we participated in the Entrepreneurship World Cup amongst 120 countries. It has been and excitement to see Emma Swati competing at global level. 
we have been amazed by the commitment of the students in continuing with their modules, even during lockdown, where 28 schools completed the JA company program. Today, we are here to celebrate the champions from the different countries. Thank you for representing Africa in such a competitive, competitive manner and during such a difficult time. You are all winners. As a Swatini, we are proud of Manzini Nazarene High School, who has been represented, who has represented us so well at Africa region for four years. This is the fourth time they are participating in this competition. We would like to appreciate the head teachers, the facilitators, and parents for supporting the students through and through. Allow me to appreciate all the sponsors who have funded us in the challenging year. In particular, I appreciate Standard Bank for funding us so that Manzini Nazarene High School participates in this competition. Your investment has impacted so many young lives in a very special way. Our partnership with government through the Ministry of Commerce, Industry and Trade has grown massively over the past six years. The consistent annual subvention of 500,000 Malangeni per year have been very instrumental in helping Junior Achievement Swaziland, Eswatini, to grow its programs throughout the country. On another note, I have served as a board member and a chairperson of Junior Achievement Eswatini for 10 years. During my time in serving, I have grown in so many ways. My time to retire has come. May I wish all the best as you contribute and continue to support young minds for the future of Africa. I thank you. Thank you very much to the board chair of JA Eswatini for that absolutely beautiful outfit as well. I must say, we would like to take a minute to say a very big thank you to all of our sponsors for this year's event. We're really grateful. Our sponsors include FedEx, City Foundation, MasterCard, Tomorrow Foundation, Project Management Institute Educational Foundation, and Law Trust.
Of all the numbers that matter in business, here's the one that matters most. 7.7 billion. Because that's how many people there are on this planet. We believe in an inclusive, sustainable digital economy that works for everyone. So every day, we work with banks, merchants, businesses, cities and governments to solve human needs with human ideas. Every capability we build on, every investment we make, and every partnership we enter into is driven by MasterCard's mission to improve people's lives. We're helping retailers reimagine how people shop, developing new digital first payment experiences, helping independent workers thrive in the gig economy, enabling people and businesses to move money around the world, making transactions of all kinds safer and more secure, developing new artificial intelligence solutions to detect and fight fraud, giving people and businesses more control over their financial data, modernizing commercial payments for businesses of all sizes all around the world, empowering every business everywhere to drive economic equality, all in a pursuit of our vision of an economy where everyone can reach their potential. And we continue to redefine the look, the feel, and even the sound of a brand that touches the lives of billions of people every day. At MasterCard, we are here to help our partners help people. Because we believe when you start with people, you can start something priceless. Tomorrow Foundation is a Swiss charity foundation aiming at making Africa a more economically developed, politically stable and culturally confident continent. The foundation gives access to technologies, training and assistance that could result in maximum social and economic impact in Africa. From water projects to skills development, technical assistance or governance advisory, the foundation is active in the areas of education, energy, health and agriculture. Our founder, Mrs Maggie Yu, has a long experience in international affairs and the public sector in Europe and Africa. She has always been concerned with human development. She has a professional medical degree and a Master of Communications and Public Relations, an MBA of Global Management in the United States and a Master of International Relations and Economy in Switzerland. We believe that learning-based development, empowerment, autonomy and collaboration have greater effectiveness than traditional assistance through funding or turnkey solutions. We consider youth education as a priority to create future leaders and a possibility of change. We developed the concept of soft barriers building, the idea that the multiplication of small-scale development projects, easy to start and addressing most urgent needs of specific communities, is the best way to fight against marginalization and radicalization of most vulnerable populations. The Foundation acts also at a larger scale, an upper level of the populations in need, promoting and assisting the development of more efficient and fairer economic policies and international cooperation. Tomorrow Foundation. Strive today. Strive for tomorrow. Today's youth are tomorrow's global leaders. Here at the PMI Educational Foundation, we envision a future focused on youth and the nonprofits that serve them as they work toward building life skills through project management. By focusing on partnerships with nonprofit organizations around the world, PMIEF prepares youth for education, career, and community engagement by enhancing the development of their critical life skills. Eu aprendi a ser liderado 
e também a ser líder. It will help me to speak loud and proud and loud and confident. And I think that really helped me and my peers. Nonprofits all over the world understand the value of teaching life competencies to youth. That's why PMIEF is focusing on youth targeted nonprofits around the globe. By embedding engaging project management concepts into these organizations, we help give the world's youth the competencies to be inspired, successful adults through valuable life skills. With the PMIEF grant, I'm certain and very excited that it will really help us to um, further this mission, to improve um, the lives of children, to help children not just to survive in this world, but to thrive, um, not only in South Africa and the continent, but really to have an impact on the entire, entire world. When we teach the world's youth to apply project management skills in their lives, we unlock their potential and open doors to collaboration, critical thinking, creativity, and communication. These skills will be critical for youth around the globe to succeed in an increasingly competitive world. You are a critical part of our strategy. Your skills, enthusiasm, and financial support can help make our vision a reality. At PMIEF, we believe in project management for social good. Thank you so much once again for sponsoring our event this year. And welcome back um, to all of our guests and our friends who are tuned in worldwide. It's been awesome having you with us today. We're pretty much done for the day. Um, but before that, we have um, a very interesting video um, for you. <laughs> Jerusalem, I call on me.
Absolutely fantastic. I wish I could see you doing it in your living room, um, which I'm sure you are. But, um, well, the day is pretty much over. Thank you so much for staying with us and for being interactive. Thank you for all your messages and for staying alive in the chats and comments section. So the competition continues tomorrow and the students are going to be pitching their businesses to the panel of judges. So pretty serious stuff tomorrow. Voting is still open for the Public Choice Award, and the link will show below and will also be posted in the chat section. Please do take a minute, go and watch the video commercials for the competing teams at the link, and vote for your favorite videos by checking the box to the left of each video. So it's the box to the left of each video. That's how you vote. It's been absolutely amazing having you here with us today. Remember to stay safe, observe all COVID-19 protocols, social distance, wear your mask, wash your hands as often as you can. And don't forget, it's 10 a.m. GMT tomorrow morning. Can't wait to see you again.